If you don't want to get caught in a messy situation on site, stick around and I may be able to prevent that. So this video wasn't in the schedule, hence having no intro, but whilst prepping the caravan last week, we encountered a small issue. That issue was the toilet cassette broke. Do I know how it happened? Well, whilst cleaning the water pipes and the grey water container, I wanted to clean the cassette. So I removed the cassette from the caravan and filled it with a mix of water and cleaning product. I gave it a gentle shake. And he means gently. And then placed it on the ground for 30 minutes before giving it another gentle shake and a further 30 minutes. I then emptied the cassette and rinsed it out gently before putting it back on the ground and turning the rotary knob to have a peek inside. It'll be fine. We'll sort it. All I can say is that I am so glad this happened after we'd given it a good proper clean and not whilst on site when it was full. So I guess the only real explanation is that I shook it too hard, but I seriously cannot imagine what turned out to be the problem being related to shaking as I really didn't shake it that hard. So on this occasion, I'm afraid I can't tell you what caused it, but I can tell you how to repair it. First things first, we need PPE. I've done a one minute risk assessment and we need gloves. Thank you. Even if it's clean, we don't want to be putting bare hands in the toilet, do we? We need to remove the main mechanical assembly, which is the disc at the front of the cassette. To do this, we need something that will act as a lever. First, remove the sliding cover, taking note of the orientation for when you replace it. The width of these two guides is 87 millimeters. Therefore, we need something that's no bigger, but roughly 87 millimeters in width and 30 centimeters or more in length to give us plenty of leverage. I'm using this piece of wood found in the garage. With the cassette on the floor, place the wood between the guides and whilst holding the cassette steady, turn the wood anti-clockwise until the small arrow graphic on the disc lines up with the second circle graphic on the main cassette. This is now unlocked and can be removed from the cassette. If we turn the disc upside down, we can see the mechanical assembly for opening and closing the cassette. Now when turning the orange knob, we can see that only one part of the assembly is actually rotating, leaving behind the main plate. When looking closer, you can see on the underside of the plate an extruded plastic pin sticking out. When we look at the section that is still rotating, we can see some sort of guide rail on one side. With the pin on the plate moved the other side of this guide rail will allow the whole assembly to work together and open the main plate. With the disc upside down, push down the plate with your right hand whilst your left hand lifts up the guide section, gently sliding the plastic pin under the guide rail. Then release, allowing the pin to sit flush to the side of the rail. And we're done. It does take a little bit of force, but not excessive. Now when we turn the orange knob, the plate and guide move in unison as they should, repairing the mechanical assembly. We can now put the item back together, but given the opportunity, we may as well lubricate all the seals. Placing the disc back in the cassette, align the triangle logo towards the left circle. Using the wood, we can turn clockwise until the triangle is lined up with the first circle, securing the disc. With a turn on the orange knob, we can confirm correct operation of the cassette. All that remains is to place this back in the caravan and give it one last check. Yeah. I'll be very surprised if this is a common fault, but if it happened to us, then it can happen to you. I hope this makes you more prepared should you experience anything similar. Now, whilst I've got your attention, I just want to take a second to thank everyone who has liked or commented on the post, or even better, follow the channel. I know I'm not the most consistent YouTuber, but I love creating content that's different, and unfortunately, that tends to take quite a long time. I'm currently working on four videos simultaneously, as well as transitioning onto new editing software, so there's plenty coming. Thank you for being patient and sticking with the channel. If you're not a follower, help me get to that elusive 1K and tap the subscribe button. Thank you. Right, that's me. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to start the celebrations early and I'm going to crack open a beer. Cheers. <laughs>